of the uh, Sakura vibes today. Not everyone might enjoy that. Kind of reminiscent of Volkswagen Beetle drivers. Do you all have anything pink in your car? I mean, I got this disc golf disc, but I also have this thing. Someone was saying that they have pink pillows and a pink steering wheel and pink rims. And I was thinking, pink's a good color. Everyone's pretty well versed in like driving. If you, if you cover this channel, you probably like, yeah, you know, you've got a couple hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, a million miles under your belt, right? Whatever it is, you know that engine braking is a very powerful asset in braking and handling the car. Um, this car happens to be equipped with the TR580 CVT and it has wonderful engine braking properties. It's very natural, it feels like you're descending. You can control the gradation of stopping power through engine compression. And you know, when you go down to like fourth gear, third gear, second gear, and even first gear, just wind it out, uh, it really helps you know, save on brakes for one. And uh, two, you can also keep those engine revolutions high uh, so that in the event of like a uh, corner exit or anything else like uh, a known acceleration event you can just uh, keep those revolutions and just use them right your car already has that potential energy spinning around in the crankshaft so like you can utilize it part of the efficiencies of driving i think manual transmissions are that you can control the revolutions really really well as an automatic, in automatic mode, it's gonna try to conserve a lot of fuel by giving you just the right amount of torque that you requested. But no more, right? It's like it's like on the on the conservative side. But when you start using the car in the higher revolutions, you you're you're controlling the, the engine speed and and all that. So you know, I haven't touched the brakes since since I started talking. And I think it's just, you know, really good asset. Like, I don't need brakes. Well, I do, but... <laughs> Imagine a car with no brakes and just all engine braking. Maybe around circuit or something, right? But, um, yeah, this, this... You need brakes, obviously, but... You can... Uh, how would you say? Supplement the braking with engine braking. So you have basically two kinds of engine braking, or two kinds of braking, which is mechanical at the wheels, and then engine braking through the, the transmission and, and the uh, engine. So there's a lot of cars today. I apologize that uh, we're not going to be able to have an extravaganza, but you know, such is life. I decided I wanted to come out a little bit later in the afternoon and, and this is what I get, you know. 